thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you live from New York. If you don't mind me saying. Businessman Aliko Dangote just won African Business Leader of the Year. Woo! Oh yeah, very good. Okay. As if that was not enough, he was also given the African Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Wow! Yeah. Ask how he felt. Dangote said he had stopped counting how many of these awards he has been receiving. Mm. Wallahi! I have run out of space on my office walls to put these useless plaques. Let me tell you, I hate plaques from fake award shows. I prefer import waivers signed by presidents of African countries. Oh. Those are the real deals. The waiver guarantee me a place on the Forbes list of billionaires for doing nothing, whereas the awards take away my time and my money. <laughs> Still on Dangote. Last week, in an interview with Aisha Sese of CNN, Mr. Dangote claimed to exercise and run 15 kilometers every day. Whoa. At first, I thought he was just bluffing. But here is an exclusive video of Dangote on a treadmill. When he's not working, Dangote describes a relatively simple lifestyle. I like exercising a lot. I go to the gym almost every day and uh, I do about uh, 15 kilometers at least six times a week. So you're a runner? Yeah, I'm a runner, yes. As you can see, I'm still celebrating with the Libyans. Yeah, the king of Africa is dead. He was buried in the desert with his son. But here is the good news. African immigrants walking across the Arabian desert on their way to Europe can now find something to leech on. According to the Russian television, Gaddafi was buried with his gold-plated gun, diamond rings, wow. and a golden knife that rebels used to sodomize him. For poor immigrants, these things will be worth a lot of money in Europe and the United States. Yes. Who said Gaddafi died a poor man? <laughs> Even at death, he continues to give to poor Africans. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Monday is Halloween in the United States. It is the only day you are allowed to dress like somebody else. For us here on the show, every day is Halloween. But in Nigeria, the tradition is beginning to trickle in. In Asso Rock, President Jonathan periodically dresses up as a general, Ooh. sometimes as army general what? or an yeah. air vice marshal. No Forget that he can't ride a motorbike, not to talk of fly a fighter jet. <laughs> this year, I heard that for Halloween, President Jonathan plans to dress up as Jesus Christ. What? Of course, good luck, Jonathan and Jesus Christ are two different people. One is a fisher of men who loves the sick and the poor, but was rejected by his people and was finally killed by the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the scribes. The other is Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was our first lady's birthday the other day. She turned, um, what was that? How old was she? Nobody she, knows. she turned green. <laughs> Nobody seemed to know how old she is, but yeah. they all remembered her birthday. Government officials took pages and pages of newspaper advertisements to mark the occasion. Here is one, of, one from the Honorable Minister of Education. The advert was placed in the Guardian newspaper. It reminded us that the First Lady is them, Mrs. Patience, Jonathan, JP, OFR, NCE. Uh -uh. Yes, the minister added Mrs. to make a distinction between other dams who are men. <laughs> like Dame Dr. Good Luck Jonathan, Dame Dr. Andy Oba, Dame Dr. Ojuzo Kalo. Wow. For those still planning to buy her a gift, the First Lady's office is reminding everyone that she has gotten enough dictionaries, grammar books, and tips on how to speak English like a diplomat. She still accepts gold and silver, 
but you cannot go wrong with an exercise machine and a gold-plated gun. Ooh. I think I think the two should go hand in hand. If one does not work, the other one will. In what I consider a great public relation coup, her office released this picture of the school where she attended. That explains it. So we now know where all her problems came from. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about bed days, Nollywood actress, Kosi Ojako marked her birthday this week. Yeah. In a befitting way, her cake represented her greatest gifts. Mm -hmm. Those who do not know her should pay close attention, especially men. We will show you the cake and her picture. We promise that you will never forget her. Here we go. The cake, the actress. Watermelon, please. During last week's local government elections in Lagos, Mr. Bola Tinubu, the former governor of Lagos State, arrived at a polling booth in Ikeja without his voter card. He tried to talk his way through but INEC officials refused to let him vote. There was an embarrassing moment when he emptied his Abada pocket in search of the card. Something fell off his pocket. Our camera got a close range view of it. Goof. Ah, embattled coach of Nigeria Super Ego, Samson Siasia, has explained the problem he is currently having with keeping his job. People are jealous of my 5 million naira pay a month, he said. I'm not among those calling for him to be fired, but I do agree that he failed to take the Eagles to the African Cup of Nations. Like our politicians, who failed to perform, I think we should allow him to repeat. <laughs> Madam Dora Akonyele, remember her, the former minister who never misses an opportunity to seize an opportunity. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, came out swinging this week. She reminded her timid supporters that her case against Dr. Chris Ngige was not over yet. According to our sources, Dora was not really hoping to win the case in a court of law. She was just mad that her niece, Ifoma Obala, the woman arrested for drug trafficking who jumped bail and escaped to London, was getting more publicity than her. Mm. Dora, you are back in the news, so stop emailing me. <laughs> <laughs> Senator Paulinus Mwago has said that Nigeria is not mature for state police. Mm. Does anyone know who this senator is? No. Nope. I don't think so. If you ask me, I think he earned his 5 million naira for the month. Unlike Bola Tinubu's wife, who hasn't said a word since she was elected wow. senator. At least, Mr. Paulinus is now fighting to legalize prostitution. Amen. The Nigerian Bar Association wants a psychiatric evaluation of all 600,000 policemen in Nigeria. Wow. God help the shrinks. <laughs> <laughs> On hearing that, the police authorities quickly sent 50 officers to a police exhibition event in oh. Chicago oh, as evidence it? that they are not all crazy. Really? Here are some of the not-too-crazy officers posing in uniform in Chicago last week. Music star Debange said that his mother has asked him to go to church and find a wife. Uh -huh. 
Oh Hallelujah. shit! Praise God. I'm like, what happened to Genevieve? Hey. Who called your phone? Some chick just called your phone. What is that? It's nobody. I don't know anybody. Mm. What are you doing now? Now? Why are you? <laughs> Isn't she a wife material? Oh, what Genevieve do you? I don't know when last the bank's mom went to church. The last time I checked, it was easier to find a girl at Benue State University who is not HIV positive than it is to find a good wife in a church. Boo! Yeah, boo me. As if I made it up. I'm quoting a scientific study conducted at the university. The study says that 75% of girls in the school are HIV positive. What? Oh yeah, that is if you are a girl at the university and if one of your four friends is not HIV positive, then you are. <laughs> oh yeah. And finally, Mrs. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala has promised to flush out all ghost workers and ghost pensioners in Nigeria. Yeah. Because, because we love Ngozi, on this show, we want to help her out. Here are the top 10 ghost workers in Nigeria. I don't suffer so much. I don't say I get I join this business. Oh, one night is no It's just a game. Everybody is thing. If anybody follows me, until next week, I am Dr. Damages. I diagnose, you heal yourself. <laughs>